Good afternoon, tribe. It's your mom of three in NYC. Back at you with another video. Hey, back at you with another video. Hey, how are you? It's so good to see you again. Wait, what? What's the tribe? Well, my name is Teneza, and I call my YouTube family my tribe. And the only thing that you have to do to be a member is to smash that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. Let's get to the business at hand. All right, I'm going out, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm having a little rendezvous this evening, and I thought I would come to you guys to show you what my makeup routine is. I was thinking about calling it my everyday routine, but I don't wear makeup every day. Um, so I try to let my skin breathe, but when I do go out, I do like to wear a light beat, is what they call it now, a beat, a light beat. So I thought I would show you guys my products, my application, and then the final result. Okay, let's get started, shall we? The first thing I do, try, I'm gonna show you every product, you guys. I have, have some highs and some drugstore products, and I'm gonna show you everything, okay? All right. I do my holy grail. I'll never go back. I literally ordered the huge container yesterday because I just can't get enough. I usually only use it on my lips, but I actually put some on a blemish the other night and when I woke up, when I tell you that blemish had dissipated by like 50% and I was like, oh snap, I can put this on my face too? Sold. But anywho, this is my very first step in my makeup routine. And if you want to see a skincare routine, just let me know in the comments below and I got you. I will film that for you as well. All right, step number one, I moisturize my lips. And Paw Paw, I've done a skincare review on it, so please check that out. I will I'll actually link that for you guys in my description box below. All right, now that <laughs> my lips are moisturized and feeling lovely, this is my makeup bag. Da -da -da. Everything fits in here so neatly. All right, all right, all right. The first thing that I do after my lips the next step in my, again, one more time, the Lucas Paw Paw Ointment. It's like eight bucks, you guys, and it's a game changer. My Holy Grail Lip Moisturizer. If I don't have this for some reason, I'll just use Vaseline, but this is definitely my go-to. All right. Step number one in my routine after I put my lippy on is concealer. I do not, unpopular opinion maybe, I do not wear foundation. I do not wear foundation. I do not wear bronzer. When I say my routine is as simple as it gets, it is as simple as it gets. If I try to add too many steps, nah. I'm not that girl. I mean, I love to look my best, but I do not do certain things. So I do not do foundation. I do not do bronzer. I rarely do blush. I really focus on clean glowing skin as my base. I do eye makeup and then I'll do a lip. Super simple. Maybe actually after this video, maybe I'll time myself one day. I forget. I remember Jackie Ina like two years ago and then also um, Aaliyah J and Aaliyah's face all did like their, their makeup in like 10 minutes or less. So maybe I'll do that one day with you guys. But for now, I wanna just take my time and do it right. All right. After a clean face, I moisturize. I definitely put on my sunscreen. Video below. My first makeup makeup is my concealer. And so I just use the applicator when I apply my concealer. In the past, I've like put it on my hand first, I've, but again, you don't wanna waste, I'm all about not wasting product, right? 
And so the first step is my concealer. I use NARS. I, the color of this one is Biscuit. It literally is my tried and true. It's the only concealer that I use. I get it from Sephora. I think it's $30, $30 and it is the only concealer. I'm super simple, guys. I can't stress that enough. I'm a, a creature of habit, super simple, super straightforward. So I go in with my NARS concealer and I actually will do a swipe under the eye, on the eyelid, and then I'll go up like that to kind of lift it. And I actually will use, you guys know the trick, I use my ring finger to blend it in because it will add the least amount of pressure. Ooh, this is kind of tough, you guys. But I love you, and I wanted to do it. All right. You see the difference even and like going on my lid on top will take away the darkness. I don't really have bags, but I do have darkness. And so putting the concealer on my top lid as well as my under eye really, really blends it out to make it all one color. And again, you're being as gentle as possible. Do you guys see the difference? Girl. You see that difference, you guys? And again, I've just started doing this. The girlies, <laughs> I've seen the girlies been, it helps to lift the eye and I just love the effect that gives. Okay, so do you see the difference in concealer? This is fully concealed and this one has not been touched at all. And so again, it took out the darkness on my lid. It smoothed out the little piece of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> my little carry-on bag of eye bags <laughs> all right guys excuse my humor um and again the little lift it gave me you see the difference between it's my left and my right but it'll be the left on the video and then the right do the same thing to the other side and then do the lift right here and like i mentioned before you guys i do not and it's funny because I don't think I've ever worn foundation. I really focus on skin health and skin care. My major focus is definitely keeping my face hydrated and moisturized. And I would love to show you all how I do that. So if you are interested, please leave it in the comments below. Again, using my ring finger quiz. Why? Because it's the least amount of pressure on the most sensitive area of your face, which is your eye. Okay. You see these freckles I got from my mama? I got freckles from my mama. I'll go in again. And again, the reason why I love this concealer, I'm like, the makeup associate's favorite kind of client like i'll ask your recommendation and i will listen to you and if i love it like i'm sold for life so i believe i got this at sephora this is not an ad not a paid promotion and she recommended this concealer i've been using this concealer 12 13 years like literally literally the only concealer that i use and so then after so do you see guys do you see that my eyes are now even do you see how there's no darkness around my eye i may go in a little bit to kind of conceal this bag a little bit more and i try my keys to use as little product as possible to achieve the result that i want so some people go in with like the V of concealer. Some people go in with stripes. I literally just use the wand to add as little as possible. And then I build as I need it. Okay. Okay, try. Okay. So after I use the concealer on my eyes, I'll then go in and conceal, carve out my eyebrows 
conceal my my biggest coloration is around my nose i have really bad allergies so i will the point of me using concealer my goal is to make the canvas even so i made the canvas even by getting my under and over eye area taking out the darkness do you see this redness and then i have a couple of blemishes but my next step after concealing my eyes, I will carve out my eyebrows. And disclaimer, I have my eyebrows microbladed. So I've had them microbladed twice in 18 and then again in 2021, I believe, three years. I'm obsessed with my microblader and it was the best decision. I know that I'm a PayPal, so Peyton Marie Charles. The first week of Vlogmas was talking about getting her eyebrows microbladed, do it. Best decision ever. I literally do not touch my eyebrows, you guys. I literally do not touch my eyebrows. I literally, when I say that, I do get them waxed probably about once a month just to keep under my eyebrow clean and to keep the eyebrow hairs trimmed. But other than that, I'm gonna show you, I use a little bit of wax and that's all I do. I do no eyebrow pencil. Microblading has saved my makeup life, literally. It makes it so easy. Okay, all right. NARS Biscuit, conceal the eyes. Car second part, carve out my eyebrows a little bit so that again, I want a consistent color on my canvas of a face. All right. All right. Cleaned it up. You see that, guys? The next, so eyes, carving out my eyebrows just to make sure the color is consistent. And then I'm going to go get this redness around my nose. And that is allergies. It's crazy. I get allergies all year round, not just in the high pollen season and again I'm using my ring finger and I'm just pressing it in pressing it in so I really use that concealer to conceal tap 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 Okay, how much better guys without that redness? All right, eyes, eyebrows, under my nose, and then I go for any blemishes I may have. Any hyperpigmentation, again. I literally will put the concealer right on the blemish. So right now I only am working with a couple on my cheek. And then I'm just gonna dab it in you guys. That's literally how I apply it. And if I need to do it, the good thing about this concealer is that I can layer it. Look at that, you guys. Blemishes where? Blemishes who? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun, guys. And honestly, this is just a routine that works for me. I mean, my all-time goat makeup YouTuber is Jackie Ina. Um, but I... I I adopt what works for me and I usually keep it. And so this is just a super, super simple. So I think we're gonna say goodbye to NARS for now. She came through and did what needed to be done, which means for me, my goal in makeup is to look refreshed. Um, refreshed and enhance my, my natural beauty. And like I said before, it's crazy, guys. I just got freckles as an adult. Like, so growing up, it's the weirdest thing. Growing up, I did not have freckles. And in my early 20s, I began to get freckles. So I'm not really sure if it's sun exposure or what, but you can see them. My nose that I have freckles. 
I have freckles on my cheeks, and then I have a beauty mark right here. And so, thanks mom, <laughs> love you. All right, so NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Biscuits.